As digital SLRs become a bigger part of the market, more and more people are using them, and a lot of users may not realize one of the really key features they have, which is that they can shoot what's called a RAW file. This means that they capture all of the data that comes from the sensor and save it on the camera. It doesn't get compressed like a JPEG image, and it's there. Think of it as a digital negative that you can take and manipulate and make prints from later. Well, that's where our current guest comes in, Eric Hyman from Bibble. Bibble is one of the software programs that's been on the market for the longest, probably, to manipulate digital files, uh, raw files. And more than that, it can manipulate them non-destructively. So you can make numerous changes and still have your original data to work with. So Eric's going to take us through the program and show us some of the really neat features and how easy this is. It's not a complex process. There's tremendous power, but it's tremendously easy to use. So with that, I'll turn it over to Eric. So a lot of people ask why they should be shooting RAW files. If you'd shot this image in your camera as a JPEG, notice how these areas here are completely 100% blown out. If you'd shot this as a JPEG, you'd probably have to call your model back in and shoot your image again. But if you shot this as a RAW file and you use Bibble, with just two clicks of the mouse on our highlight recovery slider and our exposure compensation slider, you can take an image that was absolutely gone a second ago and wind up with gorgeous tones in both your skin and your flowers. So we went from this to this, that simple and easy. You can't do that with a JPEG, and that's something you can save you time. Even if you're going to get things right all the time in the camera, sometimes the shot you really want, you didn't have things set up just right for, and RAW is going to let you fix that very, very simple and easy. Using RAW files with Bibble also lets you fix many simple things that you didn't anticipate at your shoot the way you think as a photographer. If you took this image that maybe you exposed for your highlights outdoors, your interiors wound up being much too dark. You could spend much time in Photoshop trying to adjust this with curves, masks, and layers, but in Bibble, just like as a photographer would think on site using a fill light, in Bibble you can use our fill light control and just open those shadows up very simple and easy without blowing your highlights. Again, before, after. Everything in here is designed to be very simple and easy to use. You can take an image like this that maybe you shot on vacation that at the time you didn't realize your wide-angle lens was going to introduce a lot of distortion to and come in with just a couple of clicks of the mouse and take all the lens distortion right out of your image. With a couple of more clicks, I can come over and add our perfectly clear technology and with one click fix the saturation, contrast, color, and vibrancy of the image. Going from this to this, very simple and easy and without having to take any advanced Photoshop courses. Indoor volleyball. Bad lighting, bad everything. This was shot at ISO 3200 with a Canon 1DS. 1D, it's a 12 megapixel file. If we zoom in, you can see how there's too much noise in this to probably even print in a local newspaper. Well, with a couple of clicks, we can fix the white balance, bring up the exposure a little bit, but that does nothing to the noise. With our Noise Ninja technology, just one drag on the slider, and all that noise is going to melt right away. Now, not only can I make this a print in a newspaper, I could probably sell prints at the event. Very, very simple and easy. A challenging concert white balance. Very, very difficult to get in camera, sometimes even with post-processing. With Bibble, I can come in and pick from any of the same settings I would have used in my camera and get exactly the same results. Or using our click white control, I can get perfectly spot-on white balance that simple and easy. So that's kind of this, the way the adjustments in Bibble work. They're, again, designed to work the way you as a photographer think. The next most important thing is how simple and easy is it to get output or do multiple things to multiple files. Let's say we wanted to do a series of black and whites to this woman. I can come in and very simply take the first image and do a very simple desaturation black and white, but you'll notice how we lost a lot of detail here in her skin. Back in the day, if you were shooting black and white film, you'd maybe use a yellow or a green filter to fix that. Even though we've already converted to black and white, I can come in the Bibble, go to our advanced panel, open up the color panel, and grab a green slider. And notice in her shoulder as I drag the green slider how all the detail is going to come right back in her skin. Get the look I like for this shoot, press Control c the copy on my keyboard, grab the rest of the images I want to process the same way, and press Paste. And notice how all of those images now have the same look. Now let's make some JPEGs from those. One of Bibble's hallmarks is its speed. Some people don't like to work with RAW because they claim it's too slow. Notice how quickly it's going to make JPEGs from all of these 1DS 12 megapixel images. There is no faster way to process your RAW files. Now, of course, for six years now, Bibble's been doing non-destructive editing, which means that we've never modified your original file. At any time, I can come in with one touch of the keyboard and put all those original files right back the way they started. The other thing we do are some more advanced techniques. Uh, that was a very simple black and white conversion. Let's say you want to do something more advanced. Uh, maybe you want to have something that looks like some of your old black and white films. I'm going to come over here to our black and white film simulation plugin, and I'm actually just going to load a preset I already have on disk. 
to give you a black and white look, much like you would have gotten if you used Kodak TriPan back in the day. Uh, I can pick from a variety of different films and paper types, and notice how it's going to give me very dramatic black and white looks. They're going to be very difficult to get with a very naive color mixer solution or other desaturation. The beauty, though, is even though we've got this black and white simulation, I can still come in and play with my color channels and my hue channels and actually adjust the effect I'm going to get from that simulation. And that's an example of one of the very many powerful plugins that are built in the Bibble. There are many others for dealing with skin tones, doing black and white simulations, even doing more advanced things like sepia toning. Again, with all very simple, easy presets. So Bibble runs equally well on Windows, Macintosh, and Linux. It's a standalone program for 129, which gets you a license to use it on all three platforms. It also includes a Photoshop plugin that lets you work directly in Photoshop if that's what you prefer. We also have a light version that's geared towards consumers that sells for $69.95. And while it works very well with high-end cameras and RAW files, uh, about 95% of what I just showed you works on JPEG files as well. Excellent. Well, yeah, there you have it. Bibble 4.0. And uh, stay tuned for 5, I guess. Thanks, Thanks. Eric.